Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. This is my Volkswagen ID3 First Edition Plus and today exactly I have it for two years. I drove 41,600 kilometers and today uh, I will be doing a degradation test. I did uh, a range test at 90 kilometers an hour uh, a day after I got it. Then a, a year <laughs> ago uh, so on September 10th and now uh, a year later I will do it again so I will go on the highway drive 90 kilometers an hour so there is no heat loss um, charge it first to 100 percent drive it under 10 percent and then we look at the consumption and uh, kilometers driven and the state of charge I will arrive and with that we will calculate the battery capacity that the car is giving me. Of course this is not amazingly accurate, that's why I also have the Evolu battery tester on. This is connected to the OBD dongle and it will send data to a server and then read out the battery the whole time and then Evolu tested already many ID3 so they know if I stop at 8% this is how much energy is left in the battery and, and at the end they can tell me this is the battery capacity. I made a, a special video about uh, uh, Evolu battery test you can see it here. Charge 100% and there we go! I am on my way, I'm driving 93 kilometers an hour, which is GPS speed 90, but that's not important today. Uh, but I did this the same time last year and the year before. I'm already at 93% and I drove 24 kilometers, but the first 10 kilometers are uphill, that's why my consumption is also high, 174. Remember, last year my consumption was 100 and 19 I think or even less I can't remember it was very very low but it was different weather it wasn't raining like now and wet and we have 13 and a half degrees so the climate is on I have the seat heater on by the way new 2.4 seat heater goes down in steps I had it on three and then after 10 minutes it goes down to two maybe it did that automatically before too but it didn't show it um, and I'm in eco mode. So that's what I'm doing to, 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 to that not draw too much uh, energy out of the battery so there's no heat loss. But let's drive a bit. I'm at 75%, drove 83 kilometers. Well, you can calculate times four. Uh, uh, 332, something like this, yeah. With this high consumption because of the rain and the heat, totally normal, average speed is great. Um, 14 degrees out there, it's raining a bit less but the road is wet and it, like I said, it's cold, heat is on. I needed the AC as well, but this is not about consumption today. We'll see at the end what the uh, number is that's way more important. Still driving my 93, live stream is going on.
I'm at 50%. We drove 163 kilometers, so that's 329 kilometers. Consumption high because of this. Um, I turned the heat down e uh, more and more. It's, it's not, I don't need it that much. So I don't think the heat is doing a lot now, but it, it did before. I have 135 kilometers to the charger, so back where we started, just the, on the side of the highway. And 182 kilometers of range, that is 47 kilometers of margin. It's a lot. Maybe we have to drive a bit more to drive it down at least under 10%. That's important. But let's go on in this ugly weather. Yuck. Yeah, I just calculated. And if I take the kilometers and this consumption, I think the consumption will go down. But if I take this consumption, it's 52.3 kilowatt hours available in the car. Um, and last year I had 54.4 and in the, when I got the car it was 58.8. So I lost um, whatever that percentage it is. I'm at 25%. Eh. Look at the data, 253 kilometers driven. Uh, average consumption is going down and down here on the way back, 148 now. And that's because the rain has stopped, the heat is off, and it's going uh, downhill as well. Um, I, I still have 66 kilometers of margin, but I will go not to Possa now, I will go to in direction of Regensburg to have a bit more kilometers. So, I want to get the car down to at least 10%. So do 30 kilometers or 35, something like this. I arrived with 9%, drove 326 kilometers, average consumption 143. Uh, average speed is not amazing, but again, this was not a range test. Um, we calculate, I will look at Google Maps what the kilometers were for real, and then we calculate those together. I will now give back to me at home, because there I will calculate everything and also show the Avalu test uh, of the capacity but I calculated a bit right now and looked at the real kilometers and everything and it looks bad <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> so back to home me hi from the studio it's three weeks later because the results don't make sense <laughs> uh, I don't know if I did something wrong but it's not looking it's, it looked horrible from my test, but Evolu says something different. But let's go through the result. So this year I drove 326 kilometers, drove 100 to 9 percent. That's full kilometers, so 100 to 0 percent of 358 kilometers. Average consumption was 143 watt hours per kilometer. So calculated available energy in kilowatt hours is 51.23, and those up here are the numbers for 2022 and 2021. That would mean from 20 to 21, I had a, a degradation of 7.91%. From 21 to 22, so from last year to this, 2.69%. It doesn't sound like bad, that bad, but from the start of the car till now, it's 10.39%, 10.4%. So 10 That's a lot. Um, and of course you might say, hey, wait a minute, you're taking the kilometers that the car is showing, maybe it's not the real kilometer. That's true, but the consumption is based on the uh, kilometers that the car thinks it drove, not the real kilometers. And if I would take the real kilometers and then do uh, with the average consumption that it says for the shown kilometers, I even get to 11.27% of degradation. So it's even worse. Now let's look at the Evolu battery test that I did. And this shows 7% degradation. Um, so from 100% to 93%. Weird in here is that Evolu says the ID3 
only has 54 kilowatt hours available for driving and I thought that Evolu is doing from 100% to stand still so not to 0% so it would be like you drive on even though it says 0% till the car is shutting off and my calculation is from 100% to 0 not driving further so Evolu should show more than me but they show less they show 50.26 kilowatt hours um, so I don't know where those four kilowatt hours go, uh, or go that the 58 kilowatt hours that the ID3 should have because I thought the four kilowatt hours from 62 to 58 is the buffer on top so the battery is never full and the buffer on the bottom that it's never empty but they think it's eight kilowatt hours that are then available because of that I did the test again <laughs> so I drove Evolu test again and this time it showed 8% degradation so barely a difference now it's it's 49.73 kilowatt hours available but this I did over a few days with preheating and all this stuff um, but this is how the test should also work and I also did the test again with driving the ID3 but this time with 130 kilometers an hour and then I drove 224 kilometers 100 to 12 percent if it's consumption 198 that's 50.4 kilowatt hours that it's less than the 90 kilometers an hour test makes sense because I drove 130 I had to accelerate more more heat loss and this is just gone this doesn't show up in in the graph this would would, would this makes sense here the, um, but the 10.4% the, the seems a bit high but this is real <laughs> real uh, uh, kilowatt hours and real range that you can drive yourself and driving with 90 shouldn't be a lot of heat loss it should work the weather that it was cold on that day and that it was raining shouldn't have an impact because then they have higher consumption but the, the kilowatt hours getting out of the battery should be the same by the way I also calculated the difference in the kilometers that the car shows and the real the real one that Google Maps says and in the first two years this was 2.82 percent 2.81 in 21 but this year it was 1.85 percent so this changed too. I, I can understand it with tire wear that the kilometers are, are different uh, uh, but that it was so much from last year to this year and the first year it was nothing. Uh, it's weird. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure <laughs> but ten, but again 10.4% is what my ID3 with real driving shows less uh, can drive less uh, kilometers than what it did two years ago that's because you when you drive you're not gonna drive past zero percent you drive from hundred percent to zero and my car I do the same my car shows 10.4 percent less range that's what I have <laughs> okay so write in the comments what I did wrong <laughs> <laughs> if I did something wrong I gladly make a video and uh, show what is wrong because I don't know <laughs> but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye